You can increase your CPU speeds, lower your temperatures, and power draw all at the same time. Sounds like black magic, but you can do it too. This is known as undervolting, and it's something that you can do for both your CPU and GPU. But we're mainly going to be focusing on the CPU for now, and more specifically, AMD CPUs. Download CPU-Z and make a note of your core voltage. Download the benchmarking tool, Cinebench works great. And also download hardware info to monitor your temps, your voltages, and your power draw. Run yourself a benchmark and write down the score. And now it's time to go into your motherboard's BIOS. Now in here we need to search for an option called PBO2. Do keep in mind that this setting will be in a different place depending on your motherboard's manufacturer. I'll just use an MSI motherboard for example. Go into OC, then advanced CPU configuration, AMD overclocking, and then go into a setting called precision boost overdrive. Set precision boost overdrive to advanced, go into the curve optimizer, set that to all cores, set the optimizer sign to negative, and finally set the magnitude to 30. And also just a quick last thing, back in your PBO settings set your throttle and PBO limits like this. Press F10, save your settings and go back into Windows, boot up CPU-Z, hardware info and run a Cinebench benchmark. And if everything worked perfectly fine, meaning that the benchmark finished without any sort of stability issue or something like that, you should be good to go, enjoy higher FPS and lower temps. But in case something crashed or your PC restarted or something just went wrong, it's time to go back into the BIOS and change the magnitude from 30 to 20 or 25. And then we need to keep repeating this entire process until we get a stable undervolt. This is simply luck related, it just depends on the quality of the silicon of your CPU. You can also do this for Intel with the voltage offset, it's a bit more complicated though. I did this for my 7600X because it was literally staying at like 95 degrees, I kid you not. And after the undervolt, magically 60 degrees, higher FPS, lower power draw. Crazy stuff.